Hello to all the hair besties in the land. Today is a very exciting day. It's very, very different. I'm going to do something different because after I did my blow dry testing video that I did a couple weeks back, so many hair besties were like, I love this type of video. So I'm going to do something kind of fun and experimental. So I saw this post kind of just spreading all over Facebook forums and I got excited so I went to Sally's and I bought this. So this is Ion Automatic Crimping Hair Iron. So this crimping hair iron is very very different. It's not like your usual 80s crimping iron. It's like a new take on it. It like rotates and spins and it goes inside this little, I don't know, this little machine <laughs> that looks like a flat iron but it's not. But it, it kind of automatically feeds your hair in between the rotating crimping barrel and it spins and it gives your hair crimping texture without the effort from the past. So I have two different crimpers with me right now. This is a more traditional hair crimper. So you press, press, and press, and crimp down. And this is more of the traditional kind that you see from the 80s. So I want to kind of test this one to see how it works. And I'm a little bit excited, a little bit nervous. I'm going to use it on myself. This is my hair currently. As you guys can see, my hair is pretty long. I'm planning to grow my hair past down my nipples, like right down to here. And then I'm just going to have beachy hair and maybe I'll balayage it or something like that. I don't know, but that's what's happening right now. I'm just going to have long hair. It's kind of funny because I see some of mean comments here on YouTube where someone says like, oh, you know, you look like a lesbian or you look like a transgender lesbian or something just because I have long hair and because I shave off my mustache and my facial hair, my goatee and all that stuff, I look like a woman now. It's like, okay, well, if that makes you happy, then so be it. I guess I'm just going to be that for you then. <laughs> but I feel really young and confident ever since I shaved my facial hair. So... I'm happy with it. I don't know about you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull, pull this guy out here. We're just going to unbox this together. This is brand spanking new. It's my first time using it and I have no idea. I'm just excited. I just want to get it out the box already so I can get started on it. Ooh. Oh my god. Look at this contraption. I'm going to put my hand here so you guys can see. You guys see that? So there's like a glass cylinder right here where you can see like the rotating little, um, almost like little ridges here where it crimps your hair. On this side, there's teeth. I don't know, you can see the, the little teeth comby thingy. I'm assuming you have to be right-handed because, I mean, there's only teeth on one side and not the other. So, and there's only one heat setting. So I guess you can't change the temperature. Hopefully it's not too high because I don't want to burn my hair. That's the last thing I want to do. Okay, let's go ahead and undo this. Okay, let's go ahead and plug her in. And I'm going to use both and compare the difference on my head. This is really exciting. Uh, how do you unlock it? Hmm. Oh, there's a, a thing here that you can unlock. Oh, that's cool. Let's plug her in. Are you excited? Oh man. Oh my god. I'm out of breath. I just got back from the gym. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn her on. Oh wow, look, it turns red when it's on. So I guess it'll turn green when it's ready to go. Um, let's see. Oh look, it's spinning. Can you guys see that? Let me try focus so you guys can... Oh look at that. You can see it rotating. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, wow. Can you guys see the inside? You can see the, the crimpy things on both ends. So I guess when you press on it, it just spins and crimps your hair. Oh my god. This is a big deal. I'm so excited. So we're going to compare the two. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this one on too. So that way we can crimp my hair on both sides. So I came prepared. I came with some M&Ms. Orange vanilla flavor. Look at this. This is orange vanilla flavor. I got this off of Amazon because I was like, you guys know what? Because <laughs> you know I need candy while this guy heats up. 
It's gonna take a minute for him to heat up. So while that's happening, let's go ahead and try this new flavor because I just got it on Amazon. Ooh, look at them. That, didn't that look good? Yum. Okay, let's test out this new flavor. Oh my God. It tastes, tastes like orange creamsicle. You know the kind that used to come in your like ice cream truck? It says white chocolate. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay. I gotta wear hair protection, a low hair condom. Let me grab this, okay. Guy Tang, my defender. Okay, this is a heat protection spray. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mist this on my hair. This is the one I developed and created. Okay, I'm just gonna spray it throughout my whole head so we get started here. Cause I don't want to burn my hair. My hair is already damaged enough because I have a, a permanent from like six months ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mist this on before we start crimping. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go, don't judge me, don't make fun of me. Let me just go ahead and section this. I'm just gonna look in the mirror here because I can't see. We'll start with the first section, the front side. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm a little, ow. God, I have so much tangles. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let me detangle myself. I don't want to like crimp in a knot or something. God, why do I have so much? You know what? You know what it is? That perm that I have in my hair. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so there's only a comb on one side and not the other. Okay, where is it rotating? Does that mean I have to go this way? I can't go this way? Wait, I can't switch it? Oh no. So it doesn't rotate the opposite way? Really? That really sucks. I wish there's a button that you could switch it. Okay, so now I have to angle it this way, I guess. I hope I'm doing it right. Lord, okay, let me try. Wait, am I doing this right? Okay, hold on. Oh my God, it's crimping. Oh my God! Ah! Ow, it's ripping my hair. Ow! Hold on a second. Wait, oh. Well, this is kind of, it's cool. It kind of pulls one of my strands. Ah. Okay, um. I don't like how it doesn't get the rootage area. Or did I do something wrong? Hold on, it's hard to see. I can't really. I'm trying to get right at the scalp. Let me see if I... Uh, yeah, it kind of doesn't get all the way to the routage. I think because there's like a spacing right here. So it doesn't get right to the scalp. That's kind of where I want most of it. But you can kind of see... Okay, maybe I just need to put it in more smoothly. Thank God I got the heat protection on because... Let's try it again. Okay, I'm just gonna put it right down on the scalp. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it do its work. I definitely feel it pulling, but maybe I just can't see what I'm doing. What am I... Ow. Okay, it's hard to do it on yourself. That's for sure. Oh no! <gasps> uh, oh my god, what the hell is this? <gasps> oh, what did it freaking do? Oh my god, that looks fried. Okay, well, that didn't turn out too well, and it pulled some hair out. Look at that. Can I see that? It pulled, it pulled some of my hair out. It ripped it out. It got snagged in there. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe I did it wrong. I feel a little embarrassed. It's hard to do things on yourself, so, you know, because... The angle situation, I wish there was an option where I could go this way and this way by having a switch, but there's only one option, which is I have to go this way, which is very like carpal tunnel e for me because I can't twist. So I don't think this is designed for you to do it on yourself. This is designed for you to do it on somebody probably because you have to hold it in this position all the time. Okay, so that means. Ow, 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 ow. 
It keeps pulling. What am I doing wrong? Okay, oh, what the hell? Okay, hold on. Let me get the hair, other hairs out the way. This is dangerous. Okay, I'm just gonna end up ripping my own hair out. Okay. Maybe you have to feed less hair in here. Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, well, that's not too bad. You know, I don't even mind the little frizzies because it kind of gives me volume. I'm just gonna do my whole head. Okay, let me just do this one more strand and then we'll compare it to the traditional crimper, okay? Because I wanna use this and I wanna use this and see what, which one I like better. Let's, let's try one more time because maybe I'm crazy. Okay, let's go. All right, how am I gonna get the back of my head? So the key is small sections, less strands, oh, and be patient and just let it do its thing. Ooh, okay, that's a good one. What do you guys think? Okay, okay, let's try the traditional crimper. Okay, this is the one where you press, press, press. All right, here we go. Let's see here. We're gonna try this. Hold on. Okay, well, at least this one, I could go at this angle, which is more comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna look in the mirror. Okay, one, two, well, this one you really gotta have patience for too. Okay, you have to like press and press with your, you know, fingers and your fingers are gonna get tired too. But I feel like with this one, you could get more precision, but maybe that's just me. They're both different. Okay, just so you guys know, the crimp look kinda is popularized and came from the 80s. And I love the 80s, I was born in 1981. Oh yeah, I definitely like the crimping look from the old school crimper better just because it looks more defined for me and I have more control and I could go at any angle I want. I could be left handed or right handed. Where this one you have no choice but to be right handed. Uh, well, but I do like the idea of it just rolling down for you. And you guys know I love the 80s. I need a quick break here. I don't know if you guys know what boba is but I, I ordered some boba a boba time, and this is a tea, and it has little balls in there, see? You guys see the little balls? You gotta shake it. You gotta shake it and the balls come down. Look at that. All the little black balls. You gotta let it spin and do that. I am obsessed with boba, this is my new thing. And do you see the little white stuff that I got in there? The floaty white stuff? That's lychee. I love lychee. Okay, so now we're gonna put a straw in there. There, okay. Mm, that's so good. Ah. Ah, you so black. Oh my god, I almost choke on the balls. <laughs> These balls are amazing. Hey, I'm gonna crimp my whole entire head. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna try to put a little my hair lube um, serum on my hair just so I could get more definition. Let's just try it on this side because I kind of don't like like the little overly puffy. So maybe if I put a little serum on it, it'll look more defined. You guys, let's do a little story time. Let's talk here. I think this is a very interesting story to share with you why we're crimping my whole entire head. So I was at the recording studio, right? Because you guys know I make music, I write and make a lot of cool music. I have an album out called More To Me, which I'm super excited about. So during the recording session, right, I left the studio, okay? I left the studio and I took an Uber, okay? And this is crazy. I jump into this Uber ride, and you know how Uber rides can be kind of scary sometimes, especially when you don't know the person and you jump in. When did you know? I was like, excuse me? Know what? What are you talking about? And he's like, you know, when did you know? And I was like, huh. I assume maybe he was asking me about my sexuality. I was like, are you talking about me being gay? And he's like, yeah, when did you know? And I was like, this is kind of weird for an Uber driver to ask me. That's a little personal, don't you think? And I don't think that's 
appropriate. So I was like, um, you know, I decided to tell him like, uh, well, I kind of did not know all my life because I didn't came out till I was 27 years old. Oh, look how cool this looks. But the weird thing was, it's like, how did you know? I mean, did, am I a giveaway? Is there a, something on my forehead that says I'm gay? I was like, how do you know? I was so confused. And then I was like, I was like looking around. Do I have a, something on my forehead that says it? And then I realized I, I was wearing this pink shawl. I, when I came into the car, I opened up the door and I wrapped this rose nude pink shawl around me. And I went in as the wind blow through my hair. I go, hi, I'm ready to go home. And so I assume maybe this is a dead giveaway. I don't know, but you never know these days. I, I, I was like, cause you never want to assume. What if somebody was metrosexual? What if someone was a feminine straight guy? You know, you don't want to assume. So for me to just jump in the car and he was just asking me about my sex sexuality, I was like, what? What, how unprofessional, you know? <laughs> so I felt weird and I go, this is not appropriate for, you know, wouldn't you feel uncomfortable? Come on guys, have you ever, took a Uber ride or a Lyft and then feel uncomfortable with your driver. They ask you like weird questions and it makes you feel kind of like, oh, this is slimy, you know? Anyway, he started telling me about his sexuality. He started saying, well, I have a girlfriend. She's Asian and he's a beautiful man, by the way. He's a handsome looking black man, tall, muscular, everything. He was a good looking guy. And so I was like, okay. Well, you know, I was in the closet before, so maybe he needs help. Maybe he needs a friend. So, and as, you know, a kind person that I am, I listened to his story. He says, I'm curious about Asian men. I was like, oh, so Asian men makes you want to be gay? I, I was like confused, you know? Um, he says, no, I'm just very attracted to Asian guys. And then I was like, well, thank you. And I was like, but don't, you know, what does your girlfriend think about it? He's like, she doesn't know. And I go, oh, so I decided to share him my story. And I told him, you know what? I used to have a girlfriend and I was in the closet before. So I want him to know that he's not alone and that, you know, that he, 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 but he shouldn't drag his girlfriend along the ride, you know, because he needs to be honest with her because you can't just like sleep around with people, you know, uh, uh, first of all, I've been there, I was in the closet for 27 years, had a girlfriend, dragged her through the mud, loved her, but I wasn't being true to myself. So with this Uber driver man, I wanted him to know he's not alone, that you know, it takes time to find yourself. We're all scared to be ourselves, you know? So, and, and I was really honest with him. I said, you know, I'm a cool dude, I get it, but had it been anybody else, that he picked up in the car and he asked them that, they could be offended and they could report him and he could lose his job. It could be a, a, a offensive <laughs> or it could be kind of creepy, right? So I let him know that. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm chill, so don't worry about it, but just warning you that not everyone is chill, <laughs> you know? Anyway, because I, I can relate to his story, so that's why I just listened to him. But then he did something really creepy. He goes, so I, he says, are you going home? I'm like, yeah. And I was like, oh God, he's taking me home. He, he's gonna know where I live, you know? Because he, he asked me if he could come into my house. And I go, mm, I have to work tomorrow. I, 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 uh, um. And he was like, oh, and, and my husband, my husband's home. That's what I said to this guy. I was like, my husband's home. And you know, and he goes, well, is your husband Asian too? I go, yeah. He goes, oh, that's nice. And I go, <gasps> Oh my God, this is creepy. And then he asked if he could come in. And I was like, to my house? I, I, I was like, I was trying to stay calm. I was like, <gasps> okay, I don't want this guy to know where I live. So I literally just tell him, you know, just stop right here and just let me, I was just gonna walk, you know? I was like, it's okay, I, I can walk, <laughs> you know? But it was just so creepy. I mean, first of all, guys, have you guys encountered any Uber driver that creeps you out before? I mean, did I do the right thing? I don't know. I just don't want to, you know, be a mean person because at the end of the day, we're all human. Okay. Oh, this is looking really good. Look at that. Look how cool this looks. See, at the end of the day, guys, we're all human. 
he's he, maybe he's creepy, but he's also human. So I was like, why would I, you know, let me let me put more heat protection on this. Gotta gotta protect the hair. My defender spray, y'all. Yeah, I was like, at the end of the day, we're all human. I mean, you know, I was like, maybe I should have reported him so he doesn't victimize anyone else. But then I felt bad for the guy because I know what it's like to be in the closet and be scared to come out. And maybe he, it's like a cry for help. He just doesn't know who to talk to. And at the, at the end, I was the person he talked to even though he came across creepy. And I think that's the thing. I think that when we, when we feel alone and we have no one to talk to, we do crazy things. So as long as he doesn't come and like stand in my front door or something creepy like that. But I was just like, you know, and I try to take things as a compliment. What I noticed that a lot of times us as humans, we look to get offended first versus looking at different perspectives. Because I think that if we look at things from multiple perspectives, will start to forgive people more because he complimented me. He goes, oh, I like Asian guys and oh, your husband's Asian too. Can I join? So basically he likes me. He finds me attractive. He gave me a compliment. He was vulnerable and opened himself up to me. So I was trying to look at things from a positive perspective, but then on the negative side here, he was creepy. He kind of, you know, step his he kind of stepped over his, um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, that was kind of rude. <laughs> he kind of overstepped his boundaries because that's not, I don't know if that's legal. I mean, I just don't think it's professional for somebody, you know, your Uber driver to be, you know, asking you about your sexual anything. Don't you guys agree? What would you guys do? I mean, did I do the right thing? I don't even know why I'm talking about this. You know, but I feel like it's a real story. I'm human. And it's funny because a lot of times people go, oh, do hair, do hair. But then people forget like, hey, we're humans too. And I have human encounters and I have stories and things happen. And the, the cool thing is as hairstylists, when we, you know, for example, when our clients come in and get their hair done, we talk to them and we hear all types of stories. We hear sex stories. We hear boyfriend stories. This is one of those things, you know, we're hair besties, right? So I figure, hey, let's have a sit down do hair, and let's, you know, chit-chat and gossip. Okay, so I'm going to figure out how I'm going to go about back here because now I have to turn my hand on another angle. Okay, so I can't go this way. I have to go this way now because it's right-handed only. This is really hard. I don't know if I like this. Yeah, I like... Oh, it keeps pulling my hair. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You got to be very careful. But I do like it. I do like the concept. I do like the idea of it, but I think it's just hard to do it on yourself. Right? Okay, well, I'm almost done. I think that basically you just have to be very flexible. If you have very stiff arms and you can't reach to the back, you're in trouble. And it snags, so you can only put so much hair in at a time, unless you don't care if the hair comes out like fuzzy. There we go. <laughs> oh, I need more boba. Mm. Oh my god, guys. If you have not had boba, you need to do it. Mmm. I got some gummy bears, too. This is a gift from one of my favorite hair bestie, Amelie. She's from Canada. And she shipped me this in the mail. Because I have um, a P.O. box. Which I'll link below. Um, she sent me candy and so many cool gifts. I love candy. Like, that's all I do. Eat. So I'm going to crimp my whole entire head and come back and you guys tell me what you think. Okay, it's definitely hard to reach back here. I'm like trying to like, look at my arm. You see my arm? I'm like reaching over. I have to be double jointed. I can't breathe right now. <laughs> reaching over to the back of the opposite side of my head just to be able to crimp it. So this is definitely not easy to do yourself. This is a machine made for someone to do for you. But wait a second, I don't think it's any easier with a traditional one because you have to be able to press, 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 right? Oh, actually this, I would think this one's easier because, you know, I get to go this way and not have to go that way. So this might be easier. Let's try it. Okay. 
uh, press. I mean, what would you guys do? If you got in a car and someone, you know, like your driver, says something creepy to you about asking you about, oh, when did you know, you know, you were gay and, and you didn't, you, it, there was no open invitation. It's not like I start having a conversation with the man. I wasn't even talking to him and I was sitting there quietly on my phone, on my Instagram, answering questions in my DM and all of a sudden he goes, hey, you know, I mean, you, do you know what I'm saying? It's not like I initiate it, so it wasn't my, my doing. What would you guys do? Would you guys report him? Would you guys feel uncomfortable? I'm just always trying to be forgiving. I'm like the type of person that tries to like understand where everyone's coming from. So I see no wrong in what people do. <laughs> But maybe that's a flaw in me. I'm not sure. It's one of those things where I go like, you know what? Let's try to understand where they're coming from. They're people too. You know, people have feelings. And, and then I always end up getting hurt because I forgive people, even though they end up hurting me. Do you know what I'm saying? I just want to know if you guys were put in that situation, would you feel threatened, frightened, uncomfortable? Would you tell him to like stop talking? Because I didn't want to be rude, but at the same time, I was kind of puzzled, you know? It's like, oh, I never met anyone that was in a relationship with a girl who, like myself, and is struggling with their identity. Because it's hard to find that because what I find is like some people were just born gay and they just know it since they were born. Where there's people like myself where I didn't know until I was like 27, you know? So that's why it's like, you know, I... I never met someone like me, so that's why I didn't find him creepy. I just, I was more puzzled, you know what I'm saying? And just kind of wanted to talk to him about it. And he was a good looking guy, you know? Um, now, now I'm gonna do this side. I think this side should be easier. All right, here we go. Let's try this way now, okay. Oh, okay, so, ow, fuck. I hurt my pinky. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Okay, it's definitely easier on the right side of the head. But one thing I don't like is that it does pull the hair. So I think maybe if I just use my other hand here to guide it, I won't have a problem. Let's see, hold on a second. Hold on. I think that if I just hold it like this, maybe, like hold it with my hand out, I can guide it so it doesn't get pulled, right? Like this. Well, that's a lot easier. I just don't like that it doesn't go all the way up to the routage. Do you guys see that? Like it's like straight one inch out and then the crimp starts. I'm gonna see if I could get all the way up to the scalp. Yeah, it doesn't go all the way up to the routage. And that's, the, I don't like that. Yeah, you guys see? It's just straight. So, um, all in all, I think that if you like it straight, like you see how it's straight, like right there? Look at that, it's like one inch straight, and then the crimp starts one inch away. Do you see that? Where this one, I could get the crimp all the way to the routage. So, from a scale one to five, I'd probably give it a four and a half, and let me tell you why. Most people don't crimp their whole entire head. Most people crimp like little pieces and it may be underneath and they put their straight hair over the top. Almost like that Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears look from 2000 and 2001. That type of look where it's just a couple ribbons of it. So I don't think it's necessary that it's all the way up at the retouch, but if you try to go on for a full on 80s look, you might have to go with a traditional one to get all the way down to the scalp. Um, I'm just gonna finish this whole block here, and then we'll be Ooh, back. Ooh, I'm all done. Look how much volume I have. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna spray some my spotlight on there to add some shine. You can see the rose gold shimmer. This is a new product of mine. It's available now. And the only part I don't like is that one fuzzy part that I did down here. Oh well, nobody, nobody can see that because that's inside. Plus it gives me volume which I love volume. So I'm just gonna mist some of this on to give me some shine. Because when your hair is crimped, you can use as much moisture as possible. But this is really cool though. I don't mind it. I like the volume. I'm actually, I don't mind wearing my hair this big all the time. Do you guys like it? Isn't it cool? So again, 
I'm gonna give this contraption a four and a half stars because I wish there's an option that you can make it go the opposite way so I can use my left hand or my right hand and go this way and that way if there's a button where you can switch from left to right that would make this iron pretty awesome. Um, I guess I don't expect it to do that because it only has a comb on one side but maybe if you could take the comb out and put it on the other side you know what I'm talking about like a detachable one so you could actually rotate each side that would make it a better iron. I wish it goes closer to the scalp but I guess it needs like a heat guard thing so you don't burn your scalp so it's safe for anybody to use. Um, and I guess because of the rotating machine that's in there you can't get close to the scalp. So I guess you can't ask for everything right? I mean you can't have it all. But it is, it is definitely really cool. I do like it and I do like it a lot. I'm just going to turn it off now. Um, I think it's easier on your, I don't know what this muscle is called, but it's easier on the wrist so you don't have to keep pressing and applying pressure like the traditional iron. Um, but I do like the traditional one to get more defined crimps and I do like it to get closer to the scalp. So they're both um, great for different purposes. Um, I do like it because I do like the 80s look. Um, I do want my hair to be bigger so I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray. This is my power. Um, volumizing spray firm hold and this gives like the perfect hold and grip to get volume okay I love it I hope you guys like this video it's different than everything else but I figure as hair besties we need to get together sometime and play with new contraptions because I feel like I always do hair tutorials as far as color 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 I, I think it's fun when we're doing something different like styling and showing you guys different tools you know because I think that when we discover new styling tools it's kind of fun and I get to test it so you guys don't have to go out and waste your money if you guys you know are curious about it because this cost me $40 which was uh, you know it's not that expensive but if you guys don't crimp every day it could be kind of pricey um, if it if it's a challenge for you. If you're left-handed, you're in trouble. So definitely this is for a right-hander only. All right, make sure you subscribe, click thumbs up, and hit that bell so you get all the notifications for any new videos that are coming out. Check out MyDandyColor.com to order any of my products that I've shown you here today or the colors that you see back here in all of my hair tutorials. And I hope you guys like this type of video. So definitely leave comments below telling me how you feel because I think it's really cool when we get together and talk about new gadgets, new tools, new blow dryers, new irons, anything that's new that's different other than coloring hair because that's something I do all the time for you guys. So I think switching it up will be kind of fun and I, and I have a lot of fun doing this because I love going out and buying these products and trying them and just seeing, you know, like, hmm, this would be kind of fun because it can be very pricey considering the fact that I spent like $40 on this iron. I think that if you guys didn't know that's only for right-handers. I mean, what if you're a left-hander person and you use it and you're like, oh wait, this doesn't work for me. So I tested it out for you guys. So you guys know now. So I think it's kind of cool that, you know, we find these, you know, interesting tools together and we get to experiment it with it together here on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, guys, download my album, More To Me, on Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, Anywhere you consume music, I'm super proud of all of the music I've created and thank you so much for loving them because I've been reading all your comments on my music videos and it's super super nice and thank you for embracing that part of me because it's something I, I want to share. I get to tell stories in my music that I normally don't get to tell. So anyway guys, um, I'm going to play a preview of my new music video here uh, so you guys get to see a sneak preview but definitely check out the full music video on my channel for all of because I've released so many different music videos and I hope you guys enjoy them too. Uh, hit it! Bye! If you're gonna break my